Well, hello, fellow Ampassians. This is Dr. Bill Williams in Suwannee, Georgia. We're going live with a after report from um, this is Monday. It's an auspicious day. I feel like I've been on a seven week on passive binge ever since 31st of March when we launched from the Burj Khalifa. I feel like I've been on a, a march through a minefield of excitement. Everything we see is a new level of excitement and new information from Ash and from the leaders. The tech team has laid us uh, so many different minefield steps to, to go between, you know, to, to dodge those things so we would know the things about the... Uh, It's so phenomenal. The things that we've been talking about, the old domain, the domain name servers, the uh, the whole thing has just been blowing everybody's mind. I can't think enough about it to tell you how the tech guys have blown us away with details. So, you know, what I found tonight was I was over across the way listening to this seminar. It started at 2 o'clock. That's a webinar. It started at two o'clock today and it was five and a half hours long. And so I was sitting there with my grandson taking care of him as uh, was my time today to do that. So I said, okay, I'm going to listen to Ash talk and all the tech team talking. And as and I was sitting there listening and Ash came along a couple of hours into the program and stayed for like three and a half hours. And what we, what we heard and what we saw was just a continuation of something that's already been going on for seven weeks. Now, we've been building and building to this point. Seven weeks ago, we started our launch of the branding campaign in Dubai, and that was a huge event. We took over the city of Dubai with marketing and advertising, and every screen in Dubai had on passive on it. But this, this particular day, Every day has been building every week on Monday, sometimes on Wednesday on 360, and sometimes on Friday Night Live. Ash will come on and talk and give us another piece of the puzzle. And so he laid one down tonight that was so phenomenal. Now, here's the analogy that I saw today as I was over there playing PlayStation with my three-year-old grandson. And I'm going to tell you, my three-year-old grandson can beat me in PlayStation playing the robot game. And so as we were playing this game, there were levels that you would go to in this science fiction robotic arena, different worlds, different levels. And this reminded me so much of what Ash is leading us through is he's taken us to a different level every week. We have all these obstacles and minefields to negotiate to get through technology. And we have to accomplish tasks. And so we have the, the land of this and the land of that. And we have different obstacles in each one, different resources, different tools to use for the robots to go beyond to the next level. I mean, they could punch, jump, shoot. They could do a lot of things, right? But the adversaries can do a lot of things to us also. And so every week we've been seeing that Ash has taken us to this new territory, this new fantastic world, what I call a, it's almost like the, the metaverse that we're actually going through as Ash talks to us. So this was just like on passive to me, this level of the PlayStation. And as we overcome the obstacles and we see those things, the obstacles that we have in our lives are being peeled away. I mean, we're actually getting a glimpse of what our future is going to be like. Every time we see another piece of the puzzle laid down by Ash, what we have is an answer to something that we've been worried about, thinking about, concerned about as to whether our life is going to work out in the long run. I mean, we've got people that want poverty ended. We want people with Homelessness ended. We've got people with all kinds of things. And so everybody has a wish. Some people want financial independence. Some people want time freedom. 
But what we see is that every answer that we need is being laid out one by one. And the whole thing is, is interesting because Ash kind of keeps things in his pocket. And he's been doing that ever since I've known him. He'll tell us this much and then this much and then this much. Incrementalism to keep us interested, of course, to keep us titillated, to keep us having that carrot in front of us to keep going. And so we know 10% of what on passive really is right now. And Ash even winks at us and says, you might not know, but 1%. So it's pretty interesting what Ash is doing. He's really leading us in a way that keeps everybody interested that's tuned in. Now, if you're not tuned in, you don't get to see some things. You don't get to hear everything. The recording tonight, for instance, was five and a half hours. And the, the things he said tonight might be considered some of the biggest information we ever got. And so he's going to not allow the recording to be viewed except by the people who were there live. That's, that's a reward for people to put in the time to come on live. Nothing against the people that couldn't be there, but there will be a great summary written up by Peter Schur. So there's not going to be anything you'll miss. It's just that you won't have the opportunity of her to have having heard Ash speak directly. So what impresses me about On Passive is this. Number one, he's figured out how to do a total vertical control from the start. This is complete control. The vertical from the ground up, everything is built upon things that we own, that we run, that we don't have to be at anybody else's significant uh, uh, control over our destiny. Number two, it's the width of the vision, the expanding from where we are to what's next, to what we want, to what the customers want. You know, if we need it, we'll build it attitude. And certainly we've been building things that we need all along. It's just that we didn't know it in the beginning. We only knew part of it in the beginning. Then there's the unparalleled quality and the reliance on artificial intelligence to completely reduce the cost of doing business. Uh, the manpower we need is going to be one-tenth of the manpower that most companies need to do a, a better job. Our capabilities will be far in excess of the capabilities of most companies out there. The best of the thing, the number one reason though, and the thing that mostly impresses most people in business is the total value that Ash is built into on passive. We have value beyond belief. We have the, the most value per, per dollar that you'll ever spend in your life probably is being a founder and on passive. If you've ever bought anything in your life, nothing has been a better value than the money you spent $97 to be a founder and on passive. And if you're not a member of on passive and you're hearing this particular uh, video, you would be insane not to look at this and whoever sent you this video and say, tell me more quickly. And the reason I say quickly is because we're closing the foundership up within the next four weeks, maybe sooner. So we've got the word today that it's no longer than four weeks. And if it's no longer than four weeks, it may be three weeks or two weeks. So I'm saying to you, if you're hearing this, you need to make some decisions, get off the fence about being a founder because the thing is coming to the end. The value that on passive op offers people will, will be inviting success to the people who join to such a level that they won't have to work again. Let me repeat that. The level of success for each founder that joins will be such that they won't have to work again once they joined and things start rolling. And they start rolling in a couple of weeks. We are going to launch this summer. We're going to launch perhaps even in June, soon. We'll get the exact date in just a little while. We're going to go through the steps, but we're going to have the exact date soon. So if you want success in the marketplace, all you have to do is be a member of On Founder, On Founders. Now, one thing that was brought up tonight that really should concern you is we are heading into a recession in the United States. 
And typically when the United States goes into recession, the whole world goes into recession. And if you know what that means is higher prices and lower wages. And that also means you're going to have a hard time selling things. You're going to have a hard time buying things because you can't afford them. There are not going to be as many people hiring for positions. The only people who are going to be guaranteed success are those people who have decided to join on passive, I believe. On passive is going to be like the gift to the world, and it's going to change the way people think about business. And I have a feeling that um, the word on passive will become something like Lexus and Mercedes. J.D. Power gives ratings for the best of the best. On passive will become the best IT company. Uh, the things that we're going to be doing in the future are unheard of. So just remember, if you've never heard of on passive before, write it down. O-N-P-A-S-S-I-V-E, capital letters. Never forget it. This painting over here was given to me by the gentleman that painted the original. This is a copy. The original sits in National Forest office in Orlando, Florida, where we're headquartered. And so the gentleman that painted it lives here in Atlanta, Georgia. So uh, I'm honored to have a copy. I'm honored to be a, a leader in on passive along with hundreds and hundreds of other leaders all around the world who put on videos, who put on webinars, who have live meetings, because we are building a group of leaders before we launch. And once we launch, there's no more founders. And so everybody kind of goes back to zero when we launch and everyone will be a customer. All the leaders, all the members, and there's 1.36 million founders right now already in the group. And as we go to the final number in about three to four weeks, we'll cut the founders off and everybody else will come in as just customers. When you're a customer, you're going to be so glad you're a customer. We predict that there'll be 90% of the people on the planet will be our customers. 90% of the of 8 billion people on the planet will be our customers. So if you're thinking about joining on passive, come in as a founder and all those customers will probably have some benefit to you. Founders are at the catbird seat at the top. You know, the Burj Khalifa, where our offices are, the top floor of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, sits pretty high above all the rest. And we have the top floor on that uh, building, the 151st floor. And that's how our path is, is with the rest of the world. In the IT business, we sit at the very top. And when we look around and see everybody coming, trying to get to be second, that's okay, because we, we own the top place. And so what we want you to do is um, keep a close watch on on passive over the next three to four, six weeks and see how it goes. We're in the branding campaigns right now. We're starting the marketing campaign soon. So you will have a chance to actually see the products. We've seen some of the products in beta test. You're going to see the products pretty soon. And so when you see them, you won't believe them there'll probably be something that will immediately cause you to want to make a decision. So that's for customers. So if you're interested in being a founder, come along and get an early look at those, those exciting AI driven products. Hey, this is Dr. Bill Williams. I thought I'd just give a, a live report on a fantastic session we had with Ash and uh, compare it to the levels of the PlayStation. The, stacking the levels are cool is the best analogy I've ever heard about what Ash does when he gives his talks. He tells us a little more about a new world that's in front of us, a new world that's going to be available to each of us. I hope that you will join us. I hope that you'll be a part of On Passive for the rest of your life. Take care. We'll all see you soon.